fellow diamond painting addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne and I'm here today to share with you my latest haul from things over at Fan Cells. So a big thank you to Fan Cells for sending me the items. Uh, before we jump in, if you could do a couple things for me, give this video a like and smash that subscribe button and let's go. So uh, first I'm going to grab this. What is this? This lovely little box. These are double-sided tape hangers. So sort of like command strips. So you just pull these off and it's sticky on this side and then you can pull the other side off and it's sticky on the other side and you can use them to attach things to each other. So it comes with this huge box of them and it's just these pre-cut pieces of tape. Now, I haven't tested them on walls, so I don't know how good they'll come off of your wall, but what I thought I would do with them is, when I finish a painting, I put it in my portfolio and I usually use double-sided tape to attach it to a piece of cardstock and then I slide it in the sleeve of the portfolio. So I thought this would be that would be a good use for these. They're pre-cut, I can put them on the back of the either the painting or put them on the cardstock and then you know, they can sit there until I'm ready to do whatever I need to, um, to pull off the other side so then it will actually stick. And you get all of these. I don't remember off the top of my head how many is in here, but it's a nice big, um, nice big number of them. So these were 93 cents for this whole box. So that's a pretty good price. Okay, and then I ordered this little thing. I'm always on the lookout for cute new stuff and I hadn't seen these before. Look, it's this cute little cover minder. And they had, I think, three or four or maybe more different versions of it. I don't, I'm not sure. Oh, it's broken. The box is broken, not the cover minder. So it just has this little magnet on it so you can use it as a cover minder. And look how cute, look how adorable this little thing is. It's like this cute little seashell. And they had different colors. So I think I got the the blue one, I think is what they called it, but they're all like this iridescent or maybe I got pink. I can't remember. I'll put a link to it down below so you'll know which one I got, but super cute. And that was a uh, dollar 14. So pretty good price. And then you guys know I can't resist some good washi tape. So this is a, it's a random selection, I believe. Of washi tape but you get one two three four five six seven eight nine ten rolls of washi tape now there's not a huge amount of washi tape on them but it's usually enough to do at least one small canvas and you get ten and this was a dollar fourteen so let me unwrap them a little bit so you can see without the glare so there's like these little bubbles and apples uh, one that says, it has like cherries on it. Um, one that has, oh, I guess that has different kinds of fruit. This one has cherries. This one has like cute little, little things on it. Some kind of green pattern, some more like bubbles. So yeah, cute, just some cute washi tape. Okay, and then I got two canvases. So uh, I'm gonna unwrap this one first. Let me set this one off to the side. Let me unwrap this one. I'm trying to kind of look ahead to next year and I saw this one and I thought this one was just really super cute. Plus it has pink and we all know I'm in a pink phase right now. Don't really know why, but this one is really easy to roll up. Look how tight it rolls up. Love it when they roll up that tight. Okay, so boat, plate of wax, pink pin. It looks like there's a couple of baggies thrown in there as well. And we have our drills. So let's look at our canvas. And guys, look at this cute little gnome. And it says love and it's pink. And so, okay, so first of all, it's a 30 by 40, so let's measure it. And then I'll give you my thoughts about, hmm, I'm sure you guys already know what I'm gonna say. So this is 34 by 24. 
Okay, so a couple of things. First off, weirdly, it doesn't really kind of have a frame around it. Usually they give you like a black line. It doesn't have that, which I'm not mad about that. I think that's okay. However, the background is white, not my favorite thing, and they use these O symbols. Now, maybe they use the O symbols because since you don't have a line, that will help you better line up the drills. But this would definitely be one that I would probably get out my ruler for just to make sure that all my drills were lined up and everything since you don't have that line as kind of a guideline to make sure that everything is lined up and straight. Okay, so 18 colors, which isn't a lot. And we have a schematic on both sides and we have the DMC codes, which is always nice. Love it when they give me the DMC codes. It is nice and sticky. So let's look at our drills. Lots of pink in here. The symbols look nice and clear too. It actually, I've never seen them kind of do their symbols like this before with the the circle around the symbol. Usually they just fill in the whole square with whatever color it is. So that's, I wonder if that's something new they're doing. Okay, let me find the end here. All right, so as I said, we have lots of pink. So we've got three different shades of pink. We've got a dark pink, a regular pink, and then a light pink. We've got a red. A light gray, that looks like there's maybe some static in there. Some kind of like light brown, a pale pink, very light sage green. Ooh, another three different shades of pink. So that's more like a true pink. This one is kind of like a darker pink. And then like a lighter pink. There's a light kind of mauve. And then we've got two different shades of peach. We've got a very pale peach and then a little bit darker peach. Got that bubblegum pink. That looks like it has static in it too. Ooh, I should probably have some dryer sheets ready for this one. And then we've got like a dark mauve and a mauve. And then we've got, ooh, five bags of white. So not a surprise when it's a 30 by 40 and the background is all white. So not not upset about that. Um, trying to figure out how to fold these all back up in here again. Like I said, you guys, I swear it's like trying to figure out how they have got all folded up the first time so I can get them back in the package can be kind of crazy. Okay. I folded those too small, but that's okay. All right. And this one, did I say how much this one was? This one was $4.01. So there's that one. And then let's open this last one here. Let me find the, find the end here. Okay. Ooh, if I can get it out. Ooh, this is a very thin one. So this one is gonna roll up very nicely. Okay, let me, let me roll this one up. All right, so we get our standard kit, oh, plate of wax, pink pen. As you can see, this is a special drill kit. We've got rhinestones and some special shapes. Doesn't look like we have any of those tiny slivers, so I'm happy about that. Those are not my favorite. Okay, and then we just have this cute heart with all different kinds of flowers on it. So this is just a 30 by 30. Oh, darn it. It doesn't have the codes on it. We have 10 colors, 10 drills, uh, but no codes. So, oops, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me measure this first. It says it's a 30 by 30. It is 24 by 24. And this one was $3.43. Okay, so now, whoops, I forgot to check the stickiness. You guys, I'm all discombobulated. Okay, so it's nice and sticky. And there's lots of different shape drills in here. Yeah, I really wish they'd give me the codes. Oop, there's a random drill that escaped there. 
I actually wonder sometimes why we don't have more like random drills floating around. You work in a factory where they have drills all over the place, they'd be everywhere. It's like glitter. Once you open glitter, you can't get rid of it. Okay, so let's look at our drills here. We got a very pretty yellow, a blue, a green, a red, a little bit of clear, and then we get into our special drills. So we've got these orange pearlized teardrop shapes. We've got some red and pink iridescent marquee. We've got some of those kind of antique old gold small marquee shapes, some blue small marquees, and then we've got these kind of orange iridescent rounds. So yeah, lots of pretty drills in there. I'm happy with that. Be nice and colorful. And it's only 10, 10 drills. So this will be another one of those that would work up really quickly. If I can get the drills back in here. Okay. And this particular one, if I didn't say already, was $3.43. So uh, we have our heart partial here. We have our adorable little love gnome. We have our pretty rolls of washi tape. We have our pretty seashell cover binder. And then we have all of our little pieces of double-sided tape to attach these to whatever we want. Walls, frames, whatever we decide to do later. And yeah. So there you go, guys. This one is, it doesn't want to close properly. Anyway, there you go. Like I always do, I will put links in the description below so that you guys can check all these items out for yourself or anything else that might catch your eye while you're there. Before you leave, don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot. Hit that subscribe button. That helps me out even more. And hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching.